Yeah, Pilot calls this the 9600 GT Sonic. I think they should reconsider. Perhaps it should be called the 96 GT Supersonic because it's loaded. It's, it's so loaded that it should weigh 40 pounds. How much would you expect to pay for something like this, Eric? $11 billion. $11 well, it's nothing near that. They've cut the prices down. This thing is, well, I wanted to mention that uh, for the money with the 9600 GT, it's like the best price to performance ratio in the universe of, of Earths. The universe of Earths. Yeah, try to wrap your brain around that. Won't happen. Unless you've got an elastic mind. It'll reach the end of the universes. Look at all the stuff, man. Wow. Now, I might want to mention that this is the uh, first card that I've seen in the studio that has the display port on it right there. And the display port, it's like the new, uh, it's like the new DVI. It's like the new HDMI. It's going to replace all this stuff in the future. And a few of the new Uber Elite monitors have the display port now. Uh, this thing is capable of 10.8 gigabits per second of data transfer. It's also capable of 2560 by 1600. So look for this thing to be taking over the world soon. Or now, because it's here. Uh, there's HDMI as well on board. Dual Link DVI and SP Diff. So you've got full surround sound audio. This is like the HD uh, gift from the gods. I don't think I've seen this much on a card. I mean, those guys are pallet. And also, it's, it's also a dual... Uh, it's got a dual slot cooler on it as well. I'm going to get to the specs of the card in a minute, so you guys just hold on. But, but know this, it's fast. It's about the same speed. Well, it's actually a little slower than the 8800 GT, but it's a lot less money. So uh, here you go. It's got the robot frog on it, too. I'm digging this robot frog. I wouldn't mess with him either. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about the specs on this. 700 megahertz is the uh, core clock. Megahertz, yes. And also, this is a 256-bit card. Very similar in specs to the 8800 GT. Like, yeah, that card is a, uh, the same as far as the 256-bit. Uh, uh, I mean, this has 512 megabytes of memory. Most of the, the stock clock GT has 512 megabytes of memory, so it's very similar. Uh, the difference is that the, uh, the GT has 112 uh, stream processors. This one has 64, so they've, uh, they've been able to cut the price down a little bit right there. But it does have a little higher core clock. So give and take. Now also the, uh, the memory on this, you have 512 megabytes of memory and that runs at 2000 megahertz. So the memory is also uh, clocked higher on this card. Uh, this card requires less power. And uh, let's see if we have any more specs here for you guys. That's all, all specs. Make note, this pallet card also comes with uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, which is a really cool game. It's like a remake, one of the old ones. I think it's like the first one. I mean, I've been having fun with this. It looks a lot better than the original. So it's a lot of fun. It comes in the box. So let's do benchmarks, right? All right, let's do some benchmarks. Now, I'm gonna compare this one head on with the uh, 8800 GT just to give you an idea of how it runs in comparison. Uh, that was kind of redundant. All right, Unreal Tournament 3, 1600 by 1200. Uh, the Palette 80, or actually the Palette 9600 GT Sonic Edition is at 104 frames per second. The 8800 GT is at 114 frames a second. It's about 10, 10 frames a second faster there, but this one has, uh, like I said, a much lower price tag. So as you can see there, in this price category, it beats just about everything there is. All right, in uh, the call of Juarez. Got a six shooter to prove it. Uh, 1600 by 1200, the 9600 GT is at 21.5 frames per second. 8800 GT is at 22.7 frames per second. Wow, that's really close. Uh, Bioshock. The 9600 GT Sonic Edition is at 57 frames a second, and the GT is at uh, 68 frames a second. That's the 8800 GT at 68. Crisis. All right, we're getting into Crisis now. All right, playing Crisis at 1600 by 1200. It shouldn't be done. That's almost crazy. Uh, everything running on medium now. 23 frames a second for the 9600 GT, and 28 frames a second for the 8800 GT. So like I keep reiterating and saying, in its price range, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see anything that gets uh, quite the speed of this card. Now, the 3870 is uh, pretty close to the speed of this, but it's also more expensive. So there you go. And look at all the ports. Look at the ports. It's insanity. You know what's nice about this? Okay, they give you SP diff here. And in the box, they've included the, uh, the cable there, the SP diff cable. So that's really handy. They've given us that. These guys always load up with, uh, with cool adapters and that sort of thing. You don't need an HDMI cable because there's already one on the box. You don't need an adapter. It's already right there. They do give us an adapter for VGA. So if you want to run uh, dual monitors and one, you have one monitor that's a VGA, you could do that. Or maybe you've got your standard, your, uh, you know, your main monitor's VGA. Maybe you put your money in your graphics card instead of your, your monitor. You can do that. Also, for those of you worried about uh, power, it does require one 6-pin PCI Express connector. Uh, and they've included 
an adapter in the box that allows you to use two Molex connectors to go to one of the uh, six pin PCI Express. So it's loaded, it's got everything in the box. That's why they should call it the Supersonic. And it also runs a lot cooler than the stock clocked uh, 9600 because it has the uh, larger fan and it runs a lot cooler than the 8800 GT. So all in all, this has got to be the uh, best card in its price range and that's all there is to it. So if this is uh, your limit, don't think about getting two cards. This is going to run faster than two 8600 uh, GTs. I don't care what which which version you're using. It's going to run faster than those. It's also faster than the uh, the older 80, 8800 GTS, like the 320 megabyte version and the 640 megabyte version. So in the price range, think about one of these. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Palette GeForce 9600 GT Sonic Edition, go to CompUSA and type P458-9600 into the search box. Or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 1-800-COMP-USA.